I'm a catch me a girlfriend today, damn it. Tacos, a white claw, vodka. I have warrants, coffee, and cigarettes. <laughs> oh no. You know, like this might not necessarily be a nice guy, but the I have warrants sign reminds me of a lot of stuff that we read on here. When you're a nice guy and you don't have four felonies, women just hate that, don't they? We haven't even started the video and I'm already scared. Welcome back guys, hope you're doing amazing and I hope you're ready for yet again some more nice guys. I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what today is? A day for the gentleman. And when I say I wake up, I mean like literally, it's 8 in the morning right now. And this is how I'm starting my day. So shout out to you guys that are watching early in the morning as well. I hope this doesn't ruin our day. No, I'll make sure we have extra wholesome memes today. And with that being said, enjoy guys. Guys, y'all really be yelling at your girls like that? To be honest, I see these and I manically laugh to myself. That's what they get for ignoring the good guys. Oh, ew. And of course, this is on TikTok. There are so many nice guys on there. But seriously though, if you're laughing at somebody else that's going through something really awful, do you really think that you're one of the good guys? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. On. Women will literally have a perfect man who treats them right and still cheat on them for someone who treats them wrong just because he vapes and they find it cool. The top comment, my ultimate move to seduce the ladies is to emerge from a cloud of vape smoke to reveal myself tipping my fedora. Whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> That's way too sexy. What is it with women and loving guys who vape? Yeah, most women would rather date a-holes who are attractive and sound confident instead of good guys who would genuinely care for them. And then after getting cheated on, they become man-hating feminists, blaming all men for their misery. Wow. <laughs> like, I just can't help but laugh. The top comment says the exact same thing, but they're blaming women for their misery right now. <laughs> and that's what you just said that they would do about men. You know, like, to be fair, I'm sure there are women like this, but it's not most women. Can someone please explain to me why girls would rather be in an extremely toxic relationship than be with a nice guy who loves and cares for them? And then they complain how they can't find nice guys. Please understand that there are really nice guys out there. If these were like, oh, you know, some people are really immature and they're not a very good judge of character. Like, yeah, okay but it's not like a common thing between all women that they love toxic guys or like that it's a natural instinct that women don't like nice guys. <laughs> no, dude. Imagine hurting the guy that God sent to heal you. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine thinking that you were that guy. I am the chosen one. I don't even know what to say about this. That's hilarious. I was sent to heal you, my lady. Huh? Hi, how are you? Why? Don't answer me. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> No, that's probably not even a nice guy. That's just so funny. I know I haven't even spoken to you yet, but I don't like your attitude. Hey, what do you look like? No, ugly biatch. Ha <laughs> ha. How can you say that I'm ugly if you haven't seen me? Yeah, like obviously this is awful and it's probably just a troll, but like they never said that they were a nice guy. I don't know what 19 to 25 year old woman needs to hear this, but you should not ever have to beg someone to love you, to do things for you, to do things with you. A person that loves you will hear you. They will listen. They'll make an effort. Yeah, go take a photo of your ass and then send it to everyone and then go cry that you need a good boy. Stupid B arches. Wow! <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this one. Oh my
my god. They're trying to make a case about women like being bad or something and they're saying that <laughs> as if that doesn't say more about them than it does about women. Hi there, sorry my random message. My name's Trevor. I noticed you were a mutual friend of Sarah. I was from CO but moved here to Las Vegas so I'm kind of new here lol. I must say you are stunningly beautiful. Oh okay so you ignore me like every other B arch out there. Fine, frick you then. Wow, dude, nobody owes you a response. You know, like I don't really talk to a lot of people, but if I'm messaging a friend or something, even if it's my friend, I don't expect a response. You know, like in those situations, you always get a response, but I never expect anything back from anybody. And it makes it so much better because when you don't have expectations, you don't get disappointed, you know? And I feel like that's what happens to a lot of nice guys. As soon as somebody doesn't meet their crazy expectations, they just get all upset and angry. You're awesome. B Arch, I gave you a compliment. Don't get cocky. <laughs> wow. Now they're a B Arch? I thought they were awesome. Some days I feel like women are like beautiful gifts that are to be cherished by us men. When other days my mentality takes an opposing turn to, if she breeds, then she's a thought. Oh my. <laughs> I'm having so much fun today, guys. I hope you are too. Guys, be like, it just hurt my feelings that you found out I was doing exactly what I lied about not doing and held me accountable for my action. And to be honest, there's a darkness inside me that no one understands. It all started when I was eight and my dad never took me to SeaWorld. And to be honest, I'm an a-hole who doesn't deserve love. I never let anyone get close to me. My ex cheated on me and is now married and I'm part Viking. I'm part Viking. <laughs> well, you know, I can't hate on that. I think we all wish we were part Viking. Hey, John, I'm kind of swamped with homework this week. As much as I'd love to go out to dinner with you, I can see that I've got a couple of pages that really need my attention tonight. All right, if we reschedule. Oh, I had a feeling that you'd ghost or cancel, so I wasn't getting my hopes up anyhow. Uh-huh, okay. Yup, my expectations were very low, regardless of your beauty or attractiveness, lol. Anyways, have fun with homework. You're not a very kind person. Have a great day. The ghosting vibes were strong. Have a great day as well. Meow. Sorry? Was just checking if you blocked me so I could do the same. How about this Thursday or Friday? Hi, beautiful. How have you been? How about this Tuesday or Wednesday night? What sort of food do you like? Like. I love your hair, by the way. You're such a waste of time, honestly. Why even waste your own time on others alone? You're blocked, so don't bother replying. Oh my god, they didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> they genuinely obviously had stuff to do. Don't take it so personally, come on. Reasons for why I'm single. I know I've seen this one before, but it's so good. Red, I'm shy. Green, I'm not looking for a girlfriend. Purple, rejection. Blue, I'm nice to girls. <laughs> That's the reason that you're single, because you're nice. Now let's think about how much sense that makes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. None. How come nice guys say milady, but they wear fedoras? If you're saying milady, you should be wearing tights and a neck ruffle. If you're wearing a fedora, you should be saying like, see here and dame. Classy fedora dudes have never said milady. What the hell? And why do they always have katanas? There's like five different time periods in this horrible trope. This entire post makes me laugh. Yeah, wow. I never even thought about that. <laughs> None of it makes any sense. Why do women insist on dating meat-headed dullards instead of me, a stranger watching resentfully from afar? Yeah, that's actually what it's like. A stranger watching resentfully from afar. Yeah, like that basically sums up a lot of the stuff we see on here. Backed with prayer hands. Women ignore nice guys, chase a-holes and then complain about it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's wholesome memes time, guys. You give me food, human. I'm going to protect you from any danger anywhere you go. Does it need to be anywhere? I mean, there's no danger in here. Of course there's not. Because I'm here protecting you. Oh. Oh, thank you so 
much, kitty. Shout out to all the cats out there that protect us. I really appreciate it. I'm always getting stuck in my head, so I'm trying to make it a nice place to be. <laughs> That's so damn beautiful. A wholesome meme with a message. Hi, Gator. Are you okay? I'm feeling down today. Here's a rainbow. Wow. Oh, don't you just love it when an elephant sprays water so it makes a rainbow for you because you're a really happy but also sad alligator today? I can relate. Hi, Darius. Why do you enjoy scratching? Because I love art. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Keep up the good work. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. That was a beautiful way to start my day <laughs> and I'm not too terrified and I hope you aren't either. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and let me know down below what you thought, guys. And today's comment of the day goes to C-Man. Are the straights okay? It depends on who you're talking to. Some of us are perfectly fine while others, well, not so much. Yeah, how true is that? <laughs> I always like to say that in those videos because I don't want people to completely lose faith with straight people. Like, they're not all bad. <laughs> some are nice and some aren't so nice, just like everybody. Okay, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.